George, hi, it's Connor Walsh. Um, have you spoken to Mark today? Oh, you wouldn't by any chance have a number where he could be reached. No, when was the last time that you heard from him? Yeah, okay, thanks, thanks. Uh, Connor, hey, uh, how you doing? Is uh, Mark here? Why, what do you want? I need to talk to him about the murder of Diego Santana. I promise you, querido, I'll never betray you. You can count on me. I hope so. What's left if I can't trust my own sister? I'd never do anything to hurt you, Diego. You know that. I don't want you talking to Kasanoff. Promise me, Pilar. Why? Why do you ask this of me? He could screw up everything. It's a perfect plan. I fooled everyone. Kasanov is the only one I have to worry about. Don't ask me to give him up. Just go, Diego. Get away while you can. You foolish girl. Do you think he cares for you? He's using you to get to me. Don't you see that? No. I don't believe you. Mike wouldn't do that. He's my enemy. Diego, please. I care for him. In all my life, I've never felt this way about any man. Miss Santana, how do you plead to the reduced charge of involuntary manslaughter? As the world turns. Brought to you today by Bounty, the quilted quicker picker upper. If you've had an ordinary paper towel fall apart on a tough job, you probably said forget it. Try Bounty. It's quilted, so don't forget it. Wet it. Bounty's more durable to last through the whole job. And this other paper towel? Forget it. With Bounty, don't forget it, wet it. Bounty's more durable when wet. The quilted Quaker Picker Upper. Bounty, more durable when wet. I've known Sam since we both had hair. Some days his hands hurt to where he can barely tie his shoes. Oh, he'd take two tie along, but hours later he'd be hurting again. He'd have to take more. He got fed up. So his doctor said, try a leave. I could take just two a leave all day. But Tylenol was taking up to eight. So he tried a leave. Keeps his pain away up to 12 hours. What more could you ask for? A little more hair? Mm -hmm. A leave. All day strong, all day long. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean is stronger, longer, cause there's ultra power in it. Times have changed, and so has Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean! On Tough Grease, his Ultra Formula beats this lemon pine cleaner. And over the course of the big job, that other cleaner gets weaker. Ultra Mr. Clean stays stronger, start to finish. Yeah, there's Ultra Power in it. For stronger, longer cleaning power, Mr. Clean it to the Ultra Shine. What is going on? Is your brother... Listen to me, Pilar. You can't trust Kaznoff. He's using you. I don't want you to see him again. I can't make this promise, Diego. I can't. I've fallen in love with him. I, I can't. So, you come back to spy on me? So you can report on me to your rich friends? You know better than that. I heard yeah, you, you talking thought, Yeah, you thought he was alive. I, we were plotting together, right? I, I didn't know what was going on. I heard his voice yeah, and I... Yeah, sure, sure. And you think he pretended I, to die? For what? To rise like a vampire? So even he can even cheat death? No. He is cold and dead. Where did you get the tape? What do you care? 
My name's on it. Well, whatever you heard, forget it. Why did you and Diego tape yourselves talking? It's none of your business, Mike. Did he bug your room at the hospital? To find out if I'd come to see you? So he would not know if you told me anything. <laughs> What's the difference now? Oh, oh, there's a world of difference. Go. Just go. I want to be alone with my brother. I, I can't do that. You have got to understand something. You said you have feelings for me. I feel the same way for you. I have. Ever since we met. He's not here. Oh, uh, do you know where he is? No, I don't. Uh, anybody else here? Mike or... Nope. Uh... Connor, I'm sorry. I don't know the uh, situation. Are you living here now? Or? No, no, no. I just I stopped by. Oh. The night I took your statement, the night that Santana was shot, why didn't you tell me that Mark came to the wedding with you? Didn't I? No, you didn't. I'm sorry, Hal. To be honest, I really don't remember much of what I told you. I was in shock at the time. Uh, did you ask me about Mark? Uh, no, I didn't. You don't mind if I get the rest of your statement, do you? Uh... Hal, I told you everything I know. I'm... I... I didn't see the shooting. Mm. So, what is your relationship with Mark now? We're good friends. I'm divorced now. Was he outside the church with you when Santana got shot? No, he was not. Well, where was he? I'm not sure. You came to a wedding together. Yeah, but he had to leave early. When? It was right after the vows, I think. Mark left the church early? Why? Where did he go? Marco. Hi. What's happening here? I mean, the papers, it's the papers, is it Lily? Kill that guy. Yep, that's what it says. Well, what happened? I've been trying to get in touch with Lucinda. Well, you'll find her at the courthouse there. Lily's being arraigned today. I don't believe it. Did she do it? Well, no one knows at this point who did it. What we do know is that Lily found out that Diego is responsible for Damien's death. He sabotaged the plane? Yeah. Diego, it, it was. Umberto. Did you know about this? Yeah, I have for some time now. Why didn't you tell me you damn near died in that airplane crash? Because, John, it's all very complicated. And then with the wedding coming you up... You couldn't stop we, this wedding? We couldn't stop the wedding. Wait a minute. I thought you were going to Florida with Tom and Yes, the that was the plan. But I... You know what? It's a really long story, and I can't talk right now. No, no, no. Tell me. What is going on? John. What is going on? An appointment with who? I have an appointment with a friendly neighborhood shrink. You're seeing Lynn Michaels again? Why? What for? What's the problem? Lily, don't, don't do this. Don't you can't do plead guilty. Don't I don't know what to do with you. Order. Do you cannot do that. Order. Sit down, please. All right, sentencing is set for March the 7th. In the meantime, the court will review the defendant's probation report, reports on interviews with her and her family, and a psychological evaluation. I need to get home to Luke. When can you get me out of here? You can't get bail after a guilty plea. What? I thought you understood. No, no, no just... No, 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 I can't go back to jail. I need to be with my son. I need to be with Luke. Your Honor, may I have a moment to confer with my client? For what purpose? Well, she's been under a lot of stress, and I believe that she has misunderstood her options. All right, make it brief. I can't. I can't go back to jail. I need to be with my son. Okay. If you want to be released, you have to change your plea. Now, I'm certain the judge will grant you bail, and I can almost guarantee that you'll be home tonight with Luke. I'm just afraid to plead not guilty. I mean, look at this paper. It's a scandal sheet. No, people believe What is the jury going to do if we go to trial? They're going to put me in prison for the rest of my life. That won't happen. I'm sure Tom will keep up his end of the bargain. 
So I plead not guilty. I can be home for a few weeks, prepare myself for the separation. Yes, and you can enter the guilty plea later. I want to do that. Okay. Your Honor, with the court's permission, my client would like to change her plea to not guilty. Well, come on. Oh, do you think it's possible after all these years? I'm pretty sure. Oh, Albert, it's changing color. I knew it. We've got hard water. If your soap won't lather well and your skin feels dry, you might have hard water. And then you need zest. Soap leaves a drying film behind. But even in hard water, zest rinses clean away for cleaner, smoother skin. You're not fully clean and smooth unless you're zest fully clean. And for an incredible feeling of clean, try Zest Body Wash. Feel like you're never finished because pots and pans are always soaking? Not with Dawn. Dawn cuts tough grease better than any other liquid, even on pots and pans. So when you're finished, you're finished. Dawn's the best at taking tough grease out of your way. No time here to get slowed down by irregularity. My doctor suggested Metamucil, the only leading brand with 100% natural fiber. Like the fiber in healthy foods. Keeps me regular, so I can be a star. Metamucil, the doctor's natural choice for regularity. I'm a runner. I'm a writer. I'm a mother. I'm a 12-year-old. I'm a lover, a cook, and a wannabe computer nerd. I'm not as young as I used to be. I am as young as I'd like to be. V8 isn't just juice. It's a full serving of the vegetables you need to keep you running on all eight cylinders. How many cylinders are you running on? I asked my doctor about those new prescription diet pills. He said they're only for people who are seriously overweight, not for me. But I wanted to lose weight, so I talked to my pharmacist. He recommended Dexatrim. I lost 12 pounds, and I wasn't hungry. Dexatrim. Just one time-released caplet works all day to help you eat less and lose weight. The Dexatrim plan was easy. I lost those 12 pounds, and I feel great. Lose weight with Dexatrim. Recommended number one by pharmacists. Days going prime time with the best stupid human and pet tricks, hidden camera hijinks, and more. The Late Show Video Special, tonight on CBS. You can go in. We own the place. Ah. Uh, huh. oh. Home again. Mm. Seemed pretty empty without you. Well, nothing has changed. Uh, Mom has been looking after things. Oh, yeah. I can tell that. <laughs> Golly. When I left here to go to the hospital, I had any idea if I'd ever see this place again. Now, here you are, back. It's good as new. Better. Oh. oh, Chris wanted you to see his latest science test. Oh, my gosh, look at that, 95. Oh, you can't do much better than that. He good can't wait him. to see you. Yeah, this has been awfully hard on him, hasn't it? Well, I think he's done pretty well. Of course, he missed you, but I managed to spend a lot of time with him. And Mom has been terrific. He wanted to skip school today, but I thought it was best if he went in. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. But I still can't wait to see him. <laughs> well, you want to take a little rest? Uh, actually, yeah. no, I think I'm feeling okay. Mom! May I give you a hug? Oh, please, a gentle one. <laughs> mm. Oh, welcome home, oh, darling. Thank you so much. I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> I brought down a few things that I thought you might need in the den. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to camp out down here for a while. <laughs> Mom, thanks so much for all that you've done. I mean, as usual, everything's under control. But it wasn't just I. Ryder and Chris jumped right in, and they even fixed dinner last night. Uh -huh. They made a new recipe for cooking chicken. Uh-oh. Mercifully, <laughs> the recipe has been lost. <laughs> well, here, I'm afraid, is our welcoming committee. Oh, good. Who's this? Is she back? She's oh, back. She's oh, back. Oh, Hi. Hi, Cam. Hey, thanks. Hi. Yeah. Oh, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Hi, oh, honey. Boy, are we glad that you're back. Yes, oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, how was your trip over? It was fine. No problem. Oh, Great. Well, we, we I hope we didn't keep you waiting, but we thought maybe you would like some time with Nancy and Bob. Oh. We were over at no, over W-O-A-K and uh -huh. stopped by the Mona Lisa. Huh? Oh, yes. My chef has made the most wonderful lunch for you, too. Oh. Yes, healthy and delicious. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> You are too much. <laughs> Welcome home. See, I know that Mark suspected that Diego was involved in his wife's death. Did he go to see you about that? Well, what did he tell you? Nothing, really. Um, I was at the police station when Mark found out that the FBI suspected that Jones was following Umberto when her car crashed. And then later, he said that he thought Diego was Umberto. Well, how, how'd Mark take that? How do you think? Well, I guess he discussed it with you a lot. No, actually, he didn't discuss his wife much with me. You know what puzzles me, Connor? I mean, if Mark suspected that Diego murdered his wife, what the hell would he be doing at this wedding? He went for Lily's sake. They were very, very good friends. And why did you go? I, I went because I, uh... Why? Because Mark insisted, and I just thought I should go with him. Why? Were you concerned about him? Was he acting unusual? Was he upset? Did you wonder why he wanted to go? I told you I mean, you, you must have been worried about his frame of mind. You knew he suspected that the man had murdered his wife, so you thought maybe you just better keep an eye on him, no, right? No, no. Why are you asking all these questions about Mark? Because he was there. I thought that the police charged Lily with the shooting. Do you think she did it? Hal, all I know is what the police released to the papers. So what do you want with Mark? Well, I just want to talk to him. Thought maybe saw something. Well, I told you he was not outside the church. He left early. Mm -hmm. And you have no idea where he went, why he left? You know, um... He actually, he may have said something. I'm just not remembering what it is because there was so much confusion at the time. Um, who told you that Mark was at the wedding? The court will accept a not guilty plea. Thank you, Your Honor. Since my client has no prior offenses, close ties to the community, a young child at home, and poses no flight risk, I request that she be released until trial. Mr. Hughes? The state has no objection to bail, Your Honor. Counsel's approach. What's going on here, Miss Griffin? Why the reversal? Oh, it's my client's decision, and we appreciate your ruling. Mr. Hughes, a man was shot at point-blank range. You have no objection to the defendant's release? There are extenuating circumstances. Yeah, I've read the papers. I'm concerned about the appearance of favoritism toward the defendant. Facts will come to light during this trial that will tend to make a jury sympathetic to the defendant. I don't wish to alienate an entire jury pool in advance by opposing bail, given that the defendant has a young child at home. I want to hear more about this in chambers. Take a 20-minute recess. Thank you. Oh, honey. Oh, no, not until you hear what I have to say. My brother was right about you. You used me. That's not true. Yes, it is true, Mike. You came to me to the hospital, right? And you were asking me, so tell me about Diego. What has he done? What is his connection but, but between I had the to Diego? ask her. You're the only one who knew? I'm sorry. But you're not. You've won, Mike. He is dead. Stop. You can stop now. No, I wasn't using you. It was never about that, ever. Don't lie to me. Pilar, listen to me. When I met you, I didn't know you had anything to do with Diego. I liked you. I wanted to get to know you. I felt something. And I think we both did. And when I found out that you were Domingo, I, I... What? I have never met a woman like you. What, you didn't think a woman could drive like me? And beat you? 
You, you have uh, courage. Let's not, let's not talk about racing right now. I saw what you went through when you realized what your brother had done. And you, you decided to do the right thing. The right thing? Yes. Betray him to the police? Yes, I agree. Oh, may God forgive me. May but... God forgive him. He was out of control. He loved me. He was my family, my blood. All my life, he protected me. He loved me. Oh, he was a criminal, a murderer, a rapist. <laughs> That's why you wanted to stop him. That's why you went to the police. You wanted to go to the police. You didn't want him to hurt anybody else. It was my brother. I knew his heart, and he needed help. No, no, he was sick, and I didn't well, want anything. I was You did everything that you could. Now, after what he did, you don't owe him an ounce of loyalty. Loyalty? We're talking about my brother. Go. Like, leave me. No, leave I can't me. do that. Pilar, you have got to go to the police and tell them what you know about him so Lily can go free. Lily? Again? You're talking about she Lily? She does not deserve to go to prison. She has a little boy, Pilar. She and her little boy, they're alive and he is dead. I'm not going to betray him again. I'm not going to spit on his grave to save her. I won't. So you can go tell your powerful woman, this rich lady, Lucinda Walsh, I'm not going to help. She cannot buy me, and Lily will pay. Why? Why are you doing this? I will not speak against my brother. He kept you a prisoner, Pilar. He drugged you, his own sister. Now, why, in God's name, would you defend him? Tifao, the number one brand of nonstick cookware, is about to change cooking with this exclusive anti-warping stainless steel disc. This is Armorall. Inside, Armorall's unique nonstick surface stands up to scratches like never before. The result is a nonstick pan that's built to last, inside and out. That's Armorall, yours to depend on, from Tifao. Grandpa? Hey there, Ryan. Grandpa, uh, hmm? you can't imagine how many different butter candies I just saw in the store. Yes, I can't imagine that. But you can't imagine how many of them had golden wrappers. Well, I can't imagine that, too. But, Grandpa, can you imagine that there are people who actually buy that other stuff? <laughs> no, I cannot imagine that. <laughs> you just don't have time for breakfast. But you need a healthy start. That's why Carnation Instant Breakfast is packed to go. It's full of vitamins and minerals and 99% fat-free. Bye, Mom! Got your breakfast? <sighs> breakfast. <laughs> Carnation Instant Breakfast. It's a healthy start. The restoration of a landmark. New York's Grand Central Station is undergoing a facelift, but under all the grit and grime lie many surprises. See the amazing mysteries uncovered. Then, it teaches you how to keep your mind, body, and spirit in balance. A place that helps you relieve stress. And it just may be one of the most unique adventures you'll ever experience. Tomorrow on This Morning. Behind in your car payments? He wants to know where you're parked. Repo Man, tonight. What are you seeing Lynn Michaels for? John, could we please have this conversation in a much I'm, more private I'm place? I'm concerned now. What are you seeing Lynn Michaels for? That old trick me, John. How long have you been seeing her? I decided it was a good idea to go back and get treatment for the PTS. I thought you were done with the PTS. I, th I thought I was too, but apparently not. I've been having some episodes. Since when? Since I saw the FBI photos of the plane wreckage. What kind of episodes? Oh, standard stuff. Flashbacks of the plane going down, nightmares about Diego, blackouts, and um, time lapses, memory lapses. 
Tom know about it? Yeah. Yeah, he does now. And he's being great. Uh-huh. Why don't you tell me I could help? Because, John, I thought I could tough it out. If, if I just help Lily get the goods on Diego, then I'm... You with... always think, you always think that you can do all of this stuff on your own, all by yourself, huh? I'm very glad you're going to see Lily. Me too. I have to. I, I gotta get through this. I'm glad nothing happened while you were having one of these episodes. I tell you, I'm glad I don't have you for a patient. Well, I'll tell you, I'm glad I don't have you for a doctor. It's bad enough having you for a dad. Yeah, right, right. The strongest people make the worst patients most of the time. Is that right? Right. Because they just don't want to ever ask for help. Who told you that Mark was at the wedding? Does it matter? No, not really. I was just curious. Uh, are we through? I don't know. I gotta see if I got this straight. Let me see. I... Now, Mark went to the wedding for Lily's sake, even though he suspected that she was marrying the man who murdered his wife. And you went... I told because... you I went for his sake. Because he was upset. Because I love him, Hal. I would do anything. For him. You would do anything. Are you sure you don't know where he is? I'm positive. Hello, Kasnoff residence. Connor? Yes? Hi, it's me. That's bad. That's, that's bad. What? I took the stairs at work yesterday. Uh-huh. Before you know it, I'm huffing. I'm puffing. So? It's a lot of stairs. You know, look at me. I eat junk. I don't work out. I'm getting my father's body. Hello, Dad. Thousands of people have started turning their lives around with four little words. Kellogg's Complete Bran Flakes. It could be worse. Hmm? You can have your mother's body. Kellogg's Complete Bran Flakes. It's a start. You know, meat's a dog's natural food. Meat's what they love. So that's why I feed mine pedigree. The number one meat dog food in America. It's 100% complete and balanced and keeps them in great shape. Pedigree, developed with vets, recommended by top breeders. Don't move. Slowly put the donut down. And no one gets hurt. You have the right to fluffy nougat and milk chocolate with less fat. Thanks, this is really good, but you got a license for that sword? Big on chocolate, not on fat. Whether it was my first child or now my third, Choosing a children's fever medicine is an important decision. With so many choices today, I decided to check with my pediatrician. He said he gives children's Tylenol to his own kids. He's seen how well it brings down even high fevers, and he knows nothing's gentler on a child's stomach. After hearing that, we're staying with the one my pediatrician recommends, children's Tylenol. Children's Tylenol, the first choice of pediatricians. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Annie's betting it all. Things are going a lot better than I ever dreamed. On a dirty little scheme. It could fool Reva very nicely. And she could win big. You realize if you pull this off, Reva will be devastated. Or lose everything. He's my world. If I don't have him, who am I? Hold on, girl, and don't let go this week. Are you running on all eight cylinders? I'm a runner, a mother, a wannabe computer nerd. V8 isn't just juice. It's a full serving of the vegetables you need to keep you running on all eight cylinders. How many cylinders are you running on? I decided years ago to stop counting lines and start counting smiles. To acquire less things and collect more moments. To allow myself fewer worries and a lot more belly laughs. And each day, make it my passion to never be old. Life can begin again at 65. And Cigna Healthcare for Seniors understands that. That's why we've designed a plan that includes the things you want, like preventive dental coverage, an annual prescription benefit, an annual eye exam, and lower out-of-pocket costs. 
For information on this comprehensive plan, call this toll-free number today, and we'll send you all the details. We'll also send you a free copy of Today's Senior, featuring 21 medical breakthroughs that can help you live longer and healthier. Because we know thinking 65 is old. It's just an old way of thinking. Cigna Healthcare for Seniors, a business of caring. Hands on 2, weeknights at 6 and 11. CBS, welcome home. And now part 2 of As the World Turns. I'm glad you're there. Did you get my note? Yes. You don't sound very happy to hear from me. Look, I'm sorry I took off. Actually, it's not a very good time right now. <laughs> Connor, I had to leave. If I'd stayed... No, he's not home right now, so you'll have to call back. Connor, wait a minute. I know you loved your brother. You didn't know him. You remember him as a kid. And yeah, yeah, you saw his good side, but you knew what he became, you knew what he did. And you said yourself he was sick. He was destroyed by the rich people who run the world. Like your friends. Hey, you know there is no excuse for what he did. He would stop anyone who got in his way. It didn't matter what he did. You were glad he's dead, huh? I am glad he can't hurt anybody else. Oh, he can't. Your friends are safe. No, that is not true. Will you, will you think about Lily? She murdered him. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe Come she... Come on, she has confessed. She was in shock. I mean, nobody really knows no, 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 what Diego happened. No, Diego knew. Because I hurt him. He said it. He was, he was dying in my arms. I was holding him and he said, how could you do this to me? He killed he her said, husband. He said, no, he said, I love you. Hey, Laura, he killed her husband. He tried to kill her mother. No! Mike, that's a lie. That woman is lying. She's lying. Please says, bonus, you... Pilar, I know you are grieving about your brother. But you gotta face up to what he was. He killed Damien Grimaldi and three others that we know of. He lied to Lily while he was playing with her son. Damien's son. That is twisted. The man has no conscience. He loved Lily. He loved her. Maybe he thought he did. He trusted her, and she killed him, Mike. He was two different people. He could switch it on and off. He would come on like a saint. He would fool everybody, and all the time, he was a killer. You said it, Pilar. Come on, you said it. He was sick. God will judge him now. Not you. Let him lie in peace. Pilar, don't you understand what this means? You are free. What, I am free? Yeah, you were you never anything free. like your brother. You wanted a very different life, and now you got it. And you told him that you didn't want him to come between us. You can't do that now. We have a chance. So you want me? Speak for Lily, and then tell everyone what an evil man he was. Just tell him what you know, that he was Umberto. So Lily could go free? <sighs> yes. Lily is being arraigned today. She does not deserve to go to prison. Her son, Pilar, her son does not have a father. He needs her. Now, don't let this love for your brother get in the way of helping Lily. He has hurt her enough when he was alive. Now, it has got to stop now. And we will all be happy? We'd have a chance. 
Don't let him destroy that. I care about you very much. Will you think about it? Please think about what I said. Oh, Lisa, you really didn't need to do all this. Oh, don't be silly. I wanted you and Bob to have a romantic lunch on your first day home. But it is broad daylight. Uh -huh. Do you think the candles might be a little much? Well, it's not for me, but... Yeah, well, all right. <laughs> Kim. Kim, dear. Yes, Mom? I got this cookbook since I'm going to be dealing with meals for a while. It's full of heart-healthy menus. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet of you, but, you know, I hate for you to have to be cooking specially for me. Oh, it's no trouble, darling. Uh, besides, th all of these menus will be good for the whole family. You know, Mom's right. We'll all be eating healthier. <laughs> Listen, you want to take a little rest before lunch? Uh, you know, honestly, I think I'm doing okay. Yeah. Thank you. Probably the hospital. I'll take it inside. Okay, then. Hi, this is Dr. Hughes. Bob says that you'll be going yes. back to the hospital yeah, a couple of times a week for uh, monitoring. Yes, yes, I will. I'll be glad to drive you. Oh, thanks. He says he thinks he can do it himself. So I won't have to call on you too much. That's what I'm here for. Oh, you know, when you moved into the garage apartment, I thought I'd be the one helping you out instead of the other way around. <laughs> well, we do have taxi service, you know. Oh, I know, Mom. Thanks, Mom was just uh, offering to do that. But, you know, the hospital is going to send somebody over here to help me with all of my exercises, so I won't have to call on anybody too much. Well, we want you to call on us. We really do. It's no problem at all. Lunch is ready. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. One thing, one thing. Now, what have you done Ooh. for you? Oh. You shouldn't do this. I know. <laughs> well, I'm just so glad you did. <laughs> Ooh, the paper is gorgeous alone. Ooh, look Ooh. at that. Isn't that yummy? It's just a little something from the new line, ah. and I wanted you to be the first to wear it. Ah, 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 look at that. Oh, Kim, that oh, color is so pretty on you. Delicious. It would be nice <laughs> to wear around the house, kind of easy. You know? Oh, it will be. Until I get back to work, this is perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and now don't you even worry about Ooh. work. Everyone at the station is more than happy to pitch in. You'll love to hear this. The mayor has... Oh, he said, yes, he will be on Patterns. Oh. I'm going to interview him about the new children's park and rec program. Oh, great. Good. You know, uh, the thing I don't understand is if you two were at W-O-A-K all morning, then who brought me home? I just wanted to stay in bed. That stuffy nose, throbbing sinus pain. I wish I'd known then about new Sudafed cold and sinus. I thought grab any cold medicine and go. Wrong. It knocked me out. Overdried my sinuses. Finally, I got new Sudafed cold and sinus without those side effects. New Sudafed cold and sinus opens nasal passages and relieves sinus pain without overdrying or drowsiness. So I felt better, not worse. New Sudafed cold and sinus. I was getting off a plane when this stranger tosses me a dime. Suddenly, I was in command. With one whistle, 12 cabs appeared. At home, the kids were studying, my husband was cleaning the bathroom, like I always ask. Then guess who shows up with my phone bill? Just happened to be in the neighborhood. Along with a dime a minute for my long distance, now my paging and internet had a flat rate too. To celebrate, we went out to eat. The tip, the dime. Shouldn't everyone have a phone bill that makes sense? Heartburn Facts from the American College of Gastroenterology. Heartburn was ruining my life.
I gave up spicy foods, tried different medicines, nothing got rid of my heartburn completely. Was something really wrong? Was there nothing I could do? If you have heartburn two or more times a week or don't get complete relief on your medicine, you may have something more serious, acid reflux disease. Call 1-800-HRT-BURN for free information, then see your doctor. It was more serious than heartburn. With the doctor's help, I finally got complete relief. I haven't felt this good in years. Before Infusium, I couldn't get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> my hair looked like a fuzzball. And now it looks shiny, it looks healthy. Infusium 23. It's the leave-in Amy believes in. My hair was so damaged. It was like steel wool. And now it's shiny and smooth. Very surprised the first time I used Infusium. It's the leave-in Jennifer believes in. Infusium 23 leave-in treatment corrects, restores, structurizes. After one use, hair looks healthy. I control my hair now. My hair doesn't control me. Infusium 23. The leave-in you'll believe in. Now I am a believer. Bob brought you home, dear. He's talking on the telephone in the living room now. He'll be in, in just a few minutes, and then you can have your lunch. Uh, of course. I don't know what I was thinking. It's been a hectic morning, dear. Uh, yes, and this... We've caused all this confusion. No, <laughs> no, no, you haven't at all. I guess I've just been lying in that hospital bed for so long. I kind of feel like I've stepped into a whirlwind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dr. Bob, lunch is ready for you and your beautiful bride. Well, it's about time. I'm starving. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> well, I think... I think we should all be leaving, and you and Bob can have some time alone. I Thank you so much. we haven't worn you out. No, no, not at all. Thank you both oh, for coming. Yes. Thank you for all the goodies. <laughs> oh, appreciate it. it. I'll be over later to be sure that Chris has his after-school oh, snack. Oh, Mom, thanks. It's not necessary. No trouble at all. Now, you call if there's anything I can do. I will, honey. Thank you. Enjoy your lunch. Oh, we'll we will. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 <laughs> that was very sweet of them, wasn't it? You tired? Actually, not really. I'm just kind of glad not to have to be quite so cheerful. Was I uh, kind of a wet blanket? Not at all. When is Chris coming home? Right after school. Oh. Yeah, right. Honey, are you sure that it's not too soon for me to be at home? It's not too soon. You're making an excellent recovery. Yeah, but what if something goes wrong and I have to get back to the hospital in a hurry? Well, that's very unlikely, but if it were to happen, I'd be here to take you, or Mom, or somebody. You will never be left alone. You'll, you'll be sure that the car always has gas in it? Of course. It feels strange to be home. No, everything... seems the same. Except me. Hey. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. Thank God Lily came to his senses. Both Cal and I tried to convince her not to plead guilty. Where is he? I want to ask him something. I don't know. Last time I saw him, he was outside with Hal. Maybe he came up with a lead or something. Hope so. Oh, wherever he is, you can bet he's fighting for Lily. We all have to fight for her because she is not fighting for herself. There is no reason in the world that she should have talked to the police or confessed. And well, Jessica finally is doing her job. Hopefully now. Uh, no jury will convict her when the facts come out about Santana. I've been saying that all along. I, I... What is she doing here? Who is she? The sister. All right. Seated. All right, Mr. Hughes, does the prosecution have any objection to bail? No, Your Honor. Very well. Bail is set. You're going to let her go free? Who is this? Pilar Domingo, the victim's sister, Your Honor. Man is dead. This woman killed in cold blood, and you're going to let her go free? Order. Well, he can still speak. In the name of justice, let the murdered man speak. 
When the toughest cold strikes, Kleenex presents the softest tissue made. Cold Care Ultra Comfort. Only Cold Care has the strength of three layers with the softest layers on the outside to give you the softest tissue when you need it most. And Cold Care with Menthol lets you breathe its menthol scent right through your cold. Cold Care, because Kleenex cares. When should you use a Rutus KT? Not for little legs, but when the pain gets tough. It takes 1,000 milligrams of Tylenol to get the same relief of just 25 milligrams of a Rutus KT. Now for tough pain, I've got a choice. Potent a Rutus KT. In the search for Mr. Right, you'll run into big egos, small minds, and not a single Prince Charming. How about a reward for not compromising? Nuggets from Hershey. Two rich bites of Hershey's chocolate. One of life's little rewards. Just between us, what does OB know about applicators? Everything. Twice as many women say OB's applicator is more comfortable to insert than Tampax. OB's applicator is so silky smooth outside, and inside is protection a woman gynecologist designed. It fits all around to help you feel free from leakage. A woman knows what a woman needs. OB's applicator lives up to its tampon. OB, with an applicator or without, your choice. OB, worry-free. It sounds like this, and like this, and like this. It's the sound of freshness, and you hear it every time you open a jar of Campbell's delicious new soups. Soup stock so full with fresh carrots, fresh celery, fresh onions, and firm pasta, we had to put them in glass just to show them off. Campbell's fresh tasting, best tasting new soups in resealable jars. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. The new fresh tasting soups from Campbell's. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that Kim is back home and everything went so well, and I'm proud of you. So I guess Tom and I should go over and visit. I want you to take care of yourself. I will. I don't want you to let the kids drive you nuts. I won't. Mm. You let me know how it goes with Lynn Michaels, okay? Hi. Hi. Yeah. I just came from Kim's. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. How's she doing? I think she's glad to be home. I've got to Go. take off. Thanks. All right. All right. You... Does she seem in good spirits? <clears throat> well, if you want any details, you're going to have to buy me lunch. <laughs> John? Yeah. What's the matter? Well, no, nothing, nothing. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to oh, upset you about no. Kim. I just think she's a little tired. That's no, all. I, I'm just thinking about my daughter, you know? I think she's inherited my luck. I love Lily more than my life. She made me the happiest man in the world when she promised to be my wife. I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to be worthy of her. I want to protect her, care for her, be a father to her son. I never knew I could love anyone like this. You can see how my brother felt about this woman. He loved her with all his heart, and she shut him down in cold blood outside the church he had pledged his love. I was holding him in my arms while he was dying. I saw the pain in his eyes when he was looking at her. He said, how could you do this to me? I loved you. Your Honor. The court will hear from the victim's family. Sit down. Go on. Yeah. Lily Grimaldi? She acts like a fine lady. Her family, her friends, they're all rich people, powerful. And they will lie. And they will accuse my brother of terrible crimes to excuse her crime. He's not the criminal. He is not. He is not the murderer. Jessica, can't you do something with that? Lily Grimaldi, she pretends to be innocent. A loving mother. She conceals hatred in her heart. Maybe you believe your lies. 
Remember, you're sick. Hey, you're sick. Psychopath. I do not know the heart, but I do know that my brother's blood was on her hands. She goes free. I fear she will kill again. Fibercon or Metamucil? Both have fiber for regularity, but I like Fibercon better. Same natural action of fiber, same dependable regularity. Fibercon makes staying regular much easier for me. Fibercon caplets, fiber regularity that's easier to take. Presenting Sweet Rewards Double Fudge Brownies. Did you see Double Fudge? Uh-huh. Surrounded by a dark, moist brownie. Pardon me for drooling. Go ahead. They're fat-free. Get out. Sweet Rewards Double Fudge Brownies. They're from Betty Crocker, so your whole family will love them. Get ready for a whole new kind of barbecue. Honey Barbecue Tender Roast from KFC. Lips, neck, and tongue. Tickling honey, you're the one. Ooh, this new barbecue, it's finger licking fun. Our juicy tender roast chicken, tangy honey barbecue sauce. When these two get together, it's finger licking fun. It's finger licking fun, baby, listen to me. Everybody needs a little he gets all the attention, but we know how it'll end. Streak spots. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Stop ignoring me. Those engineers put me here because you need Jet Dry in your rinse cycle. Give me some Jet Dry. One little bottle a month. Let me fight that residue. Let me shine. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sweet nectar. <laughs> Look at that. Brilliant. So brilliant you could eat off it. Jet dry. Mwah. Your dishwasher was designed for it. Boy, she always gets to you, doesn't she? Yes, well, of course she does. Of course she does. But, uh, don't tell her that. She's going to want a bigger allowance. Okay. <laughs> so, what about lunch? Oh, I, I don't know if you'd want to have lunch with me today. Oh, of course I do. I'll tell you what, I'll even buy. We'll talk about Tahiti. Tahiti? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the days, weren't they? It's kind of dull around here since we got back, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's really boring to be such a brilliant surgeon, isn't it? <laughs> Go over to Kim's later? Oh, well, I think they'd want me around as much as they want a hole in the head. Huh? Oh, okay. Why do you think I should go by? No, no, no. I think him is fine. I, I just think you're at loose ends. Hmm? Me? Oh, yeah. And here I thought you might want some a friendly ear or something. But, you know, some people just don't know how to ask for help. <laughs> Who's going to help me? You never know, John. You never know. Well, you know, sometimes people remember things after a while in a case like this. Something comes to you. If that happens to you... You, you will be the you. first to know. Great, thanks. Thanks. Uh, you looking for something? Huh? Oh, just uh, the videotape. The videotape? Yeah, the one with uh, Santana and Jones. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Mark has this videotape that he says proves that Santana tampered with his wife's car. What? What? You don't know about it? No. He never told you about it? No. Oh. You mind if I have a look? You know how? I'm sorry. This isn't my house. I really can't give you permission to search. You see, Mark, you tell him I want to talk. this family, they're rich, they're powerful. I am alone now. She has killed my brother. I want justice. I want her to pay for what she has done. Excuse me, Your Honor, how much longer is this to be allowed to continue? The girl is lying. Mrs. Walsh, let her speak. She is just like her brother. This is a vindictive attack of a deranged person. All right. One more word and I'll have you removed. Now sit down. 
she belongs in prison. If you let her go free, I fear for my own life. I want justice. Young lady, your brother got justice. justice. All right. He was a murderer right. and a terrorist. He tried to kill me. He tried to kill me. How was school, princess? Princess?